In this video, we will understand about ng class attribute directive with an example. The example is already implemented in the attribute directive component. Let me walk through how ng class can be implemented. In the HTML template, a separate heading is included for ng class. In the next line, we can see ng class used on h3 tag, which has some message as content. We can see ng class defined as property binding with value as status. Status is a property in the component of type string. Currently, the value of this property is success. So the ng class directive looks for any stylesheet class that has the name as success. In the components CSS file, I have included styles for the success class. It has a white font color with some padding and background color as green. The ng class directive applies success class based on the value of status component property. Let me change the status property value as warning. After this change, I am saving the file. Once the page reloads, we can see the background color of the message changed to orange color, which comes from the warning class defined in the component CSS file. If I change the status property value as error, then the class error from the component CSS gets applied and we can see the background color changing to red. This example demonstrates how styling of your message can be controlled using ng class. Hope this explains how ng class directive works. To implement this in your desktop, include these two lines in the template, include the status property in the component class, include these styles in the component CSS file and check if it works when status value gets changed. There are other syntax options available for ng class which I will explain in the next video.